Hi and welcome to How to Break a Sleep How to Crank Up Sleeping Person Part Two. Okay, so what you can do is I'm gonna have to go get up wait no not you're gonna take I'm gonna get a paper. Sharpie, and a headband, and a box of, you know, crayons and stuff, all that stuff. Like a whole box, because like, you need a glue stick. Well, it's dried out, so um, you can use tape as well. Uh, you, um, Oh yeah, but what you're gonna do? Okay, what you're gonna do is get one piece, of, one piece of paper, and you're gonna put sharpie on it. Like write something I don't know, weird. Like I like narwhals, so write nar. Walls. Okay, and then you're going to take a crayon and draw all over. Take the headband. Okay, now you're going to flip it over, the one that you draw on, and you're going to color the whole back. Like, just, I'm not going to color the whole back, but you might want to. I'm gonna look at a different pencil now. Might not want a big, big decorated one, but like one that's tiny, like this. And, okay, what you're gonna do is take the string. This much one that can go like down your forearm. You're gonna tie onto. You're gonna tie the string to the headband. If I can get it to tie. And then it's gonna be off this side. And then you're gonna take the paper. Stick it through. Stick it through. Like this. Okay? And you'll make the words are facing up. I didn't. Then you're gonna if it's a heavy sleeper, that's good. You can take the blanket off. She won't move or talk at all. And this is her. Okay. And if you, you can if she is really heavy, you can move her hand and she won't do anything. Or she'll collapse like that. But I can poke her cheek just now. It's funny. But you can take it and just like put it onto her head and stuff. And they'll be like, wake up and be like, what the crap? Yeah. And here is also another one. Okay. Take the string. You're gonna need a cup. I'm never really deep sleeper. I can talk to her and she'll answer back. And yeah, it'll be weird. No. Oh gosh. Okay. But I'll. You get some string that will around their head okay. and you can 
flip him over. Flip over. Long enough, I'll have to flip her over. Uh, flip over. Yeah, this is pretty awesome, huh? Like this. Uh, flip over. Okay, hey, watch this. Hands down. Okay, so yeah, this is pretty awesome. Like that. And then whoever is not strong enough to break this thread is pretty freaking pathetic. So you're going to get the string, and you're going to make sure it's over, and you're going to see it deep sleepers like this are awesome, because you can tell them stay still to stay still. Like, move. Stay still! Like, because I don't know, it's like some fish may have, I don't know what it's called. Like, some weird condition, I don't know. You're going to take a pencil that's strong, poke holes, or not, like, I can't get the holes to it. I'll have to, like, get it with the headband. Yeah. Poke two holes, and I'll be right back up with the I have my holes. This one. Just a hole, and you're gonna put the thread. Don't you just hate it when you can't get the thread through holes of cups? And yeah, basically what you're gonna do, you're gonna tie it. And then you're going to have it sticking up like this, so whenever they roll over, they'll hear this big cracking sound. But she'll also do this freak out, because she'll think it's like a car crash in her dream or something. Cover up. to like make bigger holes. I got it through the hole. Okay, and
the cool thing about Jace, whenever she's sleeping, I can tell her to open her eyes, she'll sleep with her freaking eyes open. I don't know if it worked before, but I don't know if it'll work now. Open. Close. Okay, I'm gonna tie it like that. And what's funny is that you can have stuff like fall on them, like every time something else goes down, you can have put something else on there. So, for instance, oh yeah, if you want this to stay, it's a little awkward. Yeah, make me freak out. Like, you know, chomp. Okay, one more prank is 